Hi again. So this is just a quick video of how I dust off radiators. Um, a couple of years ago I got this brush, radiator brush. This brush from, um, I, think it, I think I got it from eBay. I think it was maybe less than five pounds definitely. And um, it's been really life changing, especially because before this, uh, every time I put the heating on, I could kind of smell the dust, kind of like, I don't know, I could try dust and it was coming from the radiators because after I used this, um, I never had the problem again. So I definitely recommend getting one if you have the, the same issue and you don't need to do it very often. Um, I actually cleaned some of the radiators a couple of years ago now, so, um, and they're still fine. So I think this is good sort of if your radiators have never been cleaned and you, you might need to only do it every couple of years. It is pretty straightforward to do, it's what you would expect, but um, I'm just gonna show you quickly how I, how I like to do it. Here's the radiator I'm tackling today. I don't know if you can see, it probably doesn't focus very well. Yeah, there's like a lot of dust there. Yeah, it probably doesn't focus, but I try to do some befores and afters. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the brush as you would do like dusting. And then, because there's probably gonna be a lot of dust that kind of falls on the floor, so I'll just kind of hoover it as I go along. So that's the plan. I don't know if you can see the difference now. So I've started here and I think I'm about here. So you can see how much cleaner this is already. And what I'm doing here is I'll go through these ones and then I'll go through these ones. Some radiators, these might be too small, so I would just leave them in that case. This is already, it will already make a difference. Okay, so I've now done this first part up until here. This is what we got, like really old dust that has come out of the radiator. The second step here is we will just hoover this up. We hoover the, the brush a little bit and then we'll like bend it and just try to get it from underneath because a lot of the dust is kind of in the, in the bottom part. This is how it's looking just now. It looks pretty clean already, but I think we can get a little bit more out still. And you can see this is how it looks before. Pretty good, huh? I've got this kind of bend in the brush now. And it's a little bit tricky because you can see it a little bit, but I'm gonna do it kind of randomly get a little more 
that off. Didn't make a huge difference anymore, but still, you can say it's, it's done now. Okay, so I've done the final bit here. And um, what I can say is it might be easier to, just to do the same type of shapes first, like all these rounded ones, and then do the, the square ones and just do them quickly. So then in the end, you can just kind of see where you, where you need to go maybe a second time to kind of get it fully cleaned. So here's the final result. No fluff. Well, hardly no fluff. One thing to note is that it is quite noisy and I think your neighbors can kind of hear it as well. So it might be good to do it during the day or during the weekend. And maybe even let your neighbors know that you clean the radiators. The radiator brush is really brittle. So just take care that you don't scratch yourself, you know. Hope you like this little video and I'll see you again next time. Bye.